Hey, it's Tom again, CEO and co-founder of Buddy Boss, and today I am super excited to share with you what we've been up to since our last update video. In this video, I'll tell you about updates from both our customer success and customer support teams, updates on Buddy Boss Web, including updates to the Zoom integration, new reactions feature, and more, updates on Buddy Boss app, including the new bookmarking feature, improvements to the blog directory, improved Google Analytics integration, and more updates on new BuddyBoss third-party integrations, updates from our marketing team, and we'll end this video with a customer spotlight and a review of our BuddyBoss company events over the last few months, including our trip to WordCamp Asia. And before I start with the updates, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so you're always up to date with what's happening at BuddyBoss. On the customer success side, Thomas continues to handle onboarding calls and one-on-one -on -one calls on our daily app onboarding virtual sessions. If you're a new app customer, don't forget to watch our app onboarding course via the link that we've emailed to you and join a call with Thomas if you need more help. We also offer an open forum for all app customers to join a call with Thomas and get your questions answered. We also plan to extend the open forum to the BuddyBoss team and platform customers later this year. The customer success team is also working on updating our BuddyBoss Academy and releasing an updated guide on how to publish your app and how to set up in-app purchasing in your mobile app. Both of these updated guides will be published later this month. And in customer support, I'm very happy to announce that we finally launched live chat support on February 13th, just a few weeks behind schedule. The live chat is now available from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern, Monday to Friday. This new service is currently being soft launched and we plan to ramp it up to be available 24 seven over the coming months. Our knowledge base is also getting a makeover, which we expect to release in the coming weeks to provide a more pleasing user experience. The new knowledge base is proving to be very helpful and has had close to 100,000 article views so far with over 880 articles created to date. And in the last update video, I mentioned that we were aiming to solve 60 to 70% of existing app issues by the end of 2022. We ended the year with 53% of the issues fixed and released. But to date, we've solved 81% of the issues, which brings the current app issues to a very low number, making the product very stable. So that's it for the success and support updates. Let's now get into the product updates. Over the last few months, we've released a number of new features, improvements, and bug fixes to both the theme and the platform. We released a long-awaited live messaging feature to both web and app with a new updated user interface and other key features. To learn more about live messaging in the platform, you'll find a link to a more in-depth video tutorial in the description below. We also made some major improvements to the moderation modules logic and improvements to push notifications. We released two notification types to allow for notifications to be sent to you when someone you're following posts a new activity or when you get new followers. We've also released group subscriptions, which allows any new members to a group to automatically be subscribed to all the new group posts. Along with the group subscriptions, we've made changes to the forum subscriptions location and moved both topic and discussion subscription options to the preferences panel. We're now making more improvements to the moderation module and rewriting the logic of some of the features, particularly the blocked and suspended users functionality. We've developed and released more than half of the component updates and aim to have them all fully released very soon. Another feature the team is working on, which has long been requested, is the reactions feature. This feature is being built in a highly customizable way, allowing you to pick custom reactions from an extended icon set. Users can then react to activity posts and comments, both using likes or reactions, depending on how the website or app is configured. The team is also working on a number of other improvements, including updating our Zoom integration to the new OAuth. This is due to Zoom deprecating GWT in June, making the member profile URLs more secure, which will allow you to change the member identifier used in member profiles, and the ability to enable members to automatically follow other members they're connected with so they can immediately start receiving notifications of new activity posts created by the other member. And now let's talk about the BuddyBoss app. Just as we did for BuddyBoss Web, we also released live messaging in the BuddyBoss app with an updated messaging experience and a first implementation of a swipe gesture. We'll be adding new swipe gestures throughout the app over the coming months. We've also updated the icon library to bring it into alignment 
with our custom icon library, which we released with BuddyBoss Theme 2.0. This allows more flexibility and customization and allows for your app to match better with your website. It also helps improve app performance as the new icons now use the SVG format. And from our DevOps team, we're excited to share with you that the build servers that you use whenever you create a new iOS app build have been updated to the new M1 chipset. This results in your iOS builds completing around 60% faster, meaning you can test and publish our app updates in even less time. Another major project the team has worked on is updating to a more recent React Native version. This was an important step towards updating our app architecture and framework, which is a major project we're undertaking this year aimed at improving performance and making the app experience more engaging with improved gestures, animations, and faster loading times. We've also made updates to the blog directory and added loading placeholders and improvements to the search functionality. And lastly, just like on BuddyBoss Web, we released a new group subscriptions functionality. We're also working on a number of new exciting features and improvements to the BuddyBoss app. First, the access controls feature will soon be released from Labs into a public release. The team is finalizing the GamePress integration to help provide additional control levels ahead of this release. In the next three weeks, we're launching the ability for users to bookmark blog post content within the app for later viewing. We're also working on a much improved Google Analytics integration in the app, taking advantage of the Google Analytics 4 APIs. This will lead to much improved tracking of events across the app. We're also working on an update of our Google Firebase Cloud Message API. This will help keep the BuddyBoss app up to date with using the latest tools and will help us immediately solve the issue of sometimes inaccurate notification counts in your mobile home screen. And lastly, we're also creating a new app block for the BuddyBoss app that includes carousels and highly customizable post layouts. This will allow you to display content within the app in various layouts and with the ability to customize which metadata is displayed. So that's it for product updates. Now let's talk about integrations. There are increasingly more integrations available for BuddyBoss users. One super exciting integration that was launched last month was the WP Stream integration. WP Stream is a plugin that allows you to do live video streams on your WordPress website. And thanks to the new BuddyBoss integration, you can now add WP Stream to your online community so you or your users can go live at any time from your website and broadcast content to your community. So thank you WP Stream for this great integration and we look forward to working with you to further expand the functionality so we can also make it work smoothly on mobile. Another integration that has been around for a while, which some of you are already familiar with, is the Spaces Engine plugin. This plugin was built specifically for BuddyBoss communities. It gives the ability to build directories of all types, including local businesses, brands, organizations, and more within your BuddyBoss powered community. Think Facebook pages for BuddyBoss. The plugin integrates nicely with various components of the BuddyBoss platform to provide a great user experience. So thank you Spaces Engine for this great plugin. And since we're discussing integrations, I want to talk to you about the Tutor LMS integration. I know many of you who use Tutor LMS are not happy with the fact that this integration has been delayed. And I'm not happy about it either. So let me tell you the backstory and explain how we're moving forward with this. Building a good integration with a plugin like Tutor LMS is a major undertaking given the amount of great features the plugin comes with. Prior to the release of Tutor LMS 2.0, our integration work was well underway, but the announcement of 2.0 caught us off guard, and we decided to stop doing any work until it's released. And then, once it was released, our front-end team was already working on other priorities, and we could not just switch gears again. But this issue also highlighted to us that for this integration to be successful, we need to be very well in sync with the leadership at Tutor LMS and have a good working relationship with them as we do with the LearnDash team. I wouldn't feel comfortable releasing the integration if our teams were not directly communicating about the changes that are coming. It's critical for us to know when a new version is being released ahead of time so we can make the necessary changes and improvements to the integration on time for the release. The team at Themium has done an amazing job with Tutor LMS and we'd be very happy to integrate BuddyBoss platform and theme with this great product. I would also love to provide the ability for TutorLMS users to also launch a mobile app to the app stores. A few weeks ago, I met with Kaushar, the founder of Themium, and the conversation gave me confidence that we can work very well together. Themium has offered to help with the creation of the APIs needed for us to launch the TutorLMS app. All of this means that we can soon resume work on the web integration 
and later on, the app integration. I hope this provides more clarity for anyone who's been waiting for the tutorial and its integration, and I'm sure when this is released, it'll be worth the wait. So that's it for updates on integrations. I am super excited about how BuddyBoss is evolving in the ecosystem and how our customers can increasingly take advantage of new amazing tools created by third-party developers. And on the content side, the BuddyBoss podcast we started in 2022 has been a great success. We've now taken a break so we can plan an even better comeback. Our team is now working on some big content efforts, including brand new courses we'll be releasing in the near future. And meanwhile, we would love your feedback on the podcast so we can make the right improvements ahead of the relaunch. Please fill out the survey form in the description below to help us make better improvements to the new podcast. We're also continuing to see more and more course creators, community builders, and business owners choose BuddyBoss to power their online courses and communities. A project I'd like to highlight is the Easiest Swing Club. The Easiest Swing Club is a community of golfers from around the world that share the same passion for easier golf. Using BuddyBoss, they've built a highly successful community that includes courses, articles, and live workshops using the BuddyBoss Zoom integration, as well as gamification for the community. They also recently launched a mobile app for their community, powered by the BuddyBoss app. They've done a great implementation of the BuddyBoss product, so congratulations to the Easiest Swing Club for this great implementation. And in the last few months, myself and some of our team members from the UK, Australia, and the US did a few trips to visit our teams in Bangladesh, India, and the Philippines. These trips and get-togethers are very important to us. We see our global team as a big family, and it's important for us to spend time together outside of work. When our team members can hang out and have fun together in person, the team becomes much more productive and we can build amazing stuff together. In November of last year, we traveled to Dhaka, Bangladesh to meet our fast-growing Bangladeshi team. We really enjoyed meeting our Dhaka team for the first time since we couldn't do it during COVID. During this trip, we also sponsored a Dhaka WordPress meetup by covering costs for the event location, food, swag, and more. The event was a great success and we had over 170 attendees. This was an opportunity for us to meet with the WordPress community in Dhaka and get to know them better. The event had seven speakers, including Jason, Shelby, and I. Jason did a session on content marketing, and Shelby and I did a session discussing remote work culture. The experience of traveling to Dhaka was nothing short of amazing, and we'll be back again soon. And in December, we got a chance to visit our Filipino team and take part in their year-end celebration. It was great hanging out with our ever-growing Filipino team and showing our appreciation for their hard work and accomplishments. And for the first time ever, we organized an awards ceremony to congratulate various team members for their excellent work and strong contributions which help us serve our customers better. And then in February, we were able to spend time with our India team. The last time we got a chance to meet our India team was right before COVID started. So it was really awesome meeting them again and also meeting all the new hires that joined us during and after the pandemic. And last but not least, in February, we sponsored and attended WordCamp Asia. This is the first ever WordCamp Asia, and we got an opportunity to meet with various partners in the industry, as well as customers who came to visit our booth. And some of us will be in WordCamp Europe, which will be held in Athens, Greece, from June 8 to June 10. So if anyone is in the area and wants to meet us in person, let us know so we can meet you there. So that's it for today's updates. Going forward, I'll be making an update video every two months and the marketing team will be releasing a product update email on a monthly basis. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you can be notified when we post a new video and I'll see you on the next Buddy Boss update.